We're going to start by putting some dry angles in and these help to keep the cheeks out of the way. And then we use our cheek retractors, OptiView. Now because we're going to be working on the right side from the first molar over to the left canine, she's congenitally missing lower laterals. Open a little bit and bite down gently. So we're going to start out with a little bit of air to dry the teeth off. You can close a tiny bit. I just want you to stay comfortable. The dry angle on the tongue side keeps the tongue isolated to the left side while I'm working on the right side. So we're going to start by drying everything off. And she's doing pretty good with saliva right now, but we can use, we use both the high and low speed. We can put the low speed on one side or the other if we need it. And since it's kind of loud when we don't need it, I don't turn it on, but I'll leave that there so I can just turn it on if, if she's building up any saliva. Then we go to our acid etch, which will prepare the teeth for bonding. Prepares the enamel. this with the high speed suction as we rinse the etch off. We suction the etch off the teeth. We get the bulk off first and we begin by rinsing. And I'll try my best not to splash any of us. And then it's important to get all the areas dry here. I think we should make sure we have the uh, cheek retractors dry. Plus they're non speaking with the suction on right now. Yeah. We want to make sure the teeth are good and dry and see a good chalky etch. Going back over with pure warm air to make sure the teeth are good and dry. Prior to placing the primer, I'm going to just bring that over so I can't so I don't have to reach so far to get it. the primer onto the etched enamel. We make sure we cover all the etched surface. One of the important things with Insignia that you can do is you can look at your approver before you put the brackets on, get an idea of where the brackets are going to be on the teeth, and then try and prepare that etch surf or that try and prepare that surface with etch so that it can receive the bracket in that position. So now what we're doing is we're loading the brackets and the jigs with resin, making sure it's buttered into the mesh. And then we will have a two jig segment. Open a little bit, sweetie. Open just a little bit, a little bit more. Open, open, open now. Good. Two jig segment that we need to get on. And lower second and first molar. And open, keep your tongue way back. Turn towards me a little bit. And the light, please. We push it into place. And we use our special curing light. We're using a tip here that's oval shaped, which helps us get up between the jig and the bracket and the tooth. The receiving arm on the jig, which we'll be able to see better in the front jigs, uh, provides a little bit of interference with the light, but the nice thing is that uh, as opposed to a clear indirect bonding tray, this allows me to get right up to the enamel adjacent to the bracket and ensure a good depth of cure. So we're going to cure each tooth for 20 seconds here. You comfortable, Olivia? Comfortable, good. And now I use a wine guard, open a little bit, and grab the jig and roll the jig gently off to the facial and light please and then I'll finish carrying each bracket for approximately five seconds in a different location than I was carrying it before You're doing a great job you now have two braces on in exactly the spot we designed on the computer Go ahead, 
we want to make sure when we put this jig down that we don't sweep the glue off the front uh, onto the front of the tooth and slide it down. So we want to come from the lingual a little bit and then roll the jig down to the facial at the very last minute, which presses the brackets up against the tooth. Can I have a micro brush with a tiny bit of solo on it? My favorite part about these jigs is this, the ability to work my way around and effectively remove any flash from everywhere except the incisal edge, which is very easy to clean up with the handpiece afterwards. So those brackets are right in the position I want. All, almost all the flash is cleaned off. And here's why we use the thin tip, because we can work between the receivers that hold the brackets into place on the tooth. Gently remove the jig. And now I usually come back and cure from the incisal, since that was the only spot we couldn't get. Now when we go and place the upper jig two to two, I start it from the incisal edge. I don't want to sweep any of the resin off, so I slide it gently down onto the incisal, roll it to the facial, press it into place, use my micro brush, close down a little bit, Good. clean around the edge of the bracket, effectively mopping up any excess resin. Gently, gently roll a couple different spots on the jig to release it. Jig comes off, and we can finish curing. Okay, now to prepare the left side, open a little bit for me. Open a little bit, open, open a little bit wider. Good. I'm going to put the triangle in here and bite down. Lingual to the left side teeth going to isolate the tongue over to the right side. She has freedom of movement for her tongue on the right side. I'm going to start by making sure it's dry so that the etch doesn't get diluted. And again, another step that I think is really critical is to make sure the whole area is dry, not just the facial surface of the teeth. Applying the ortho solo to the teeth. Sorry, turn that a little bit. It's important when you grab it from the isthmus to make sure that the tips of the cotton pliers don't go too far down um, towards the occlusal of the tooth. If you grab it like this, the tips of the cotton pliers are going to hit the teeth before you put the jig into place. So I try and grab the spot between the two teeth on the jig in such a way that it's easy to place on the teeth. Get it in place before you press down. You can see there that bracket is not fully against the tooth yet. So we're going to get finger pressure on there. We're going to roll it ever so slightly to the facial. Once the bracket makes contact with the tooth, we cure. Her braces are on. Good job.